Hey Glen SD, I'm Alex Stone. And I'm Tyler Farrell here with Glen SD News. Now for a wonderful broadcast, we have a lot of things going on. We have a couple of field trips, a couple of segments from Steer Clear and the West Claremont School Levy. And last but not least, we have a couple of commercials about Coat Drive and Boiled Peanuts. So let's kick it off. Alex? In recent weeks, there have been several field trips at Glen Esty. A couple of weeks ago, members of the National Honor Society went on a field trip to Christ Hospital. And earlier this week, the broadcasting class and journalism class took a trip to WLWT and UC's eMedia program. For everyone that didn't go, Here's a little bit about both of those field trips. In addition to all of our field trips, a few weeks ago, all of Glen SC 16-year-olds had a special presentation to them. Sean McNamara has a report on the Steer Clear program and what that was all about. Good afternoon, Glen SD High School. I'm Sean McNamara, and today I'm going to give you a rundown of the State Farm Insurance Program for new teen drivers called Steer Clear. Steer Clear is all about safe, defensive driving techniques for all 16-year-olds who need to brush up on their driving techniques. And if you are like this driver, I would highly recommend taking a part in this program. If you drive like the guy who just drove recklessly, be sure to notify me of when you're going out and about so I can stay off the roads. For all you drivers out there, here is some footage from the Steer Clear Assembly. Bad situations. There are things that happen to us, right? Bad situations. Give me three bad situations that, that can happen that, you'd like, that you need to avoid. Drinking and driving, texting, and receiving calls and just being distracted. If you would like to get into this program, contact your local State Farm Insurance Company today. This is Sean McNamara with Glen SD News. Here's Drew Browner with the report on the school levy. It has been on the ballot for 12 years, and the question has been asked, why do we keep putting it on the ballot? The school levy has been put on the ballot for 12 years, and it has only been passed once for 2.9 mil, 2007 alone. Well, in the state of Ohio, there's only one way to fund schools, and that is to uh, seek levies. Uh, there's local dollars, and then there's uh, state dollars that come in, and uh, the burden is on the taxpayers. It's through property tax. So as costs increase, um, you either have to uh, make cuts to meet your budget or you have to raise revenues somehow. The only way to raise those revenues is either to get them from the state, which the state has not raised revenues uh, for us. They've, they've taken funding away. Uh, so we have to go back to the taxpayers to ask, ask them if they're willing to um, increase their property tax. Well, I think the direct effect that students will see next school year would be uh, possibly classroom sizes, meaning more students in a class. Uh, there is the chance that certain courses or electives could be eliminated uh, due to um, cuts. We may have to cut some teachers uh, in order to meet that budget. So that could be the direct effect uh, for students. Uh, what do you think about Mr. Brooks not commenting when asked why he would not take a pay cut? Uh, I feel that he wants to be Mitt Romney, so he's trying to get as much money as possible so he can look like Mitt Romney. I think he wants money. <laughs> what will the repercussions be? I think ultimately the repercussions will be um, if we are unable to balance our budget and raise revenues, uh, either by cutting and the things that we described, uh, we will 
have what is called a uh, state takeover. Uh, and they will send in a state commission to help the school board come up with a fiscal plan. Um, that's, that's called fiscal emergency is what we would be in fiscal emergency. Um, so uh, you know, ultimately, in my mind, it's about having local control or having the state control. So that's, that's kind of where we're headed right now. I have no idea what repercussions mean, so... I say a lot of people are going to complain, like people who don't go to school, of course, like all the older people. And I say that they're going to vote no again because it's just so hard times right now. The next school levy will be on the ballot in 2013. and its name is the Aspire Cafe. The Aspire Cafe has a wide variety of lunches, soups, and salads. I sent out our field reporter to find out what's up with the new hot spot for teachers. What kinds of food are in the new cafe? Uh, chicken, potatoes, and soups is what I've been ordering. Um, I normally just get a sweet potato and soup. Is the food pre-made or do you have to wait for it? I normally order before 9 o'clock the day of, and it's ready for when I send my student aid down to pick it up. Have you been to the Aspire Cafe? Yes, I have. Have you been to the Frisch's Cafe? Yes, I have. Which food do you think is better, from the Aspire or from Frisch's? Um, they're two totally different, they're two totally different restaurants. Um, the Frisch's restaurant, you knew you, you would follow the Frisch's menu. The Aspire Cafe, she tries to mix things up. She has, you know, uh, chicken, uh, chicken breast, baked potatoes, sweet potatoes, salad, soups. She offers uh, a wide variety of cookies and desserts uh, where Frisch's did not. Uh, is the food pre-made or do you have to wait for it? Um, well, I always order, um, I typically order a baked potato and soup and salad. So the baked potato, you go in, you order it, it's already, I pre-order it in the morning. And then when you come in, you get a number and it's ready ready to go and then you just help yourself to soup and salad. The Aspire Cafe has reasonable prices and is only for teachers. So if you have so teachers if you have A or B lunch, come on down to the Aspire Cafe. They'd love to have you. It's good day peanuts! And you are you tired of eating the same old dry salted peanuts day after day? Then try Hawk's Original Jumbo Boiled Peanuts! Soaked on a delicious southern blend, Hawk's peanuts are slow cooked to perfection, locking in all the flavors of our famous recipe. Try them in original or Cajun flavors. Your taste buds will thank you later. Find our nuts near you or visit our website to order now. And remember, Hawk's peanuts are the nuts you want to put in your mouth. Man, Tyler, don't you want to try those nuts? Yeah, those nuts sound pretty good. Nuts? I like nuts. What? What? Uh, I guess that's... Okay, well that is all we have today, Glenessi, so have a good rest of the day and stay safe. All right. <laughs> I really like nuts. I do. You want to go get nuts? No, the, the nuts actually seem pretty good. Thank so. you, guys. I kind of want to boil some nuts now. No. Camera's still rolling, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah.